right, so, oops, oh, there we go. All right, leaving the visitor center. There's quite a few, there's a few people that have stopped in the time I've been here, what, two hours or something. Hmm, not a lot of people go up to that upper cliff. They get all their information from the visitor center in a lot of ways. It is a little out of the way to go up there. Exit. Yeah. So yeah, they don't they don't really lock. What the heck was that? They don't really lock the gates. For opening, I don't think they lock the gate at all. This is this is not a widely driven road like a lot of other places. The car seems to be having trouble. All right, they gotta get on. This, I gotta move fast. They're probably coming like 60 miles an hour. <clears throat> mm. Well, at least it's kind of a quiet road. With some major curves. And narrow, it's pretty narrow. So I think I understand why those trees are in the water. That's, that's been from the probably the early 60s when the, the engineers, night of terror, ha, when the engineers had to divert the water. So that earthquake and they got a sign probably talking more about the flooding. What about the, the landslide? Yeah, that's that's a similar similar design sign. I'm a little tired now that I ate my ate some, a bunch of poppy seeds. Probably not a good idea to eat poppy seeds before you drive. Yeah, this this is steep. They say this is. You're at risk of uh, a landslide here. Hell yeah. They got really steep uh, wall face. That is a little concerning. They probably have to clean rocks off the road weekly. Yeah, there's a lot of trees on the water. And that's from the, the 1960s. Whoop. Yep, I just ran over some rocks. I was wondering why these trees, if I didn't stop at that, that, uh, the center, I wouldn't have known why these trees are, are here like this, in the water. But the landslide, the earthquake and landslide makes sense. And then the subsequent um, engineering that had to go into preventing a, a nasty flood, wow! There are a lot of trees in the water. I did not expect to see so many trees. <clears throat> the river... The river either got backed up or really diverted. That's why it's such a rapids. That's why I was commenting that Earthquake Lake See, that lake was created by the earthquake. It was just a small river before, and then the earthquake backed all this up. Yeah, that would have been a small river. And then, and then the subsequent, right after the, the earthquake area, you got a real, really a fast rushing water. White, choppy, fast rushing water. Still clearly affected by the earthquake. By the earthquake landslide. 
Like almost 30 people died. I couldn't imagine. They actually showed a picture of of one campsite where the, the people were public land requires certified something. The people were crushed in their camper by a big rock, but their picnic table was left untouched. And it was all set up, it was all set up picnic table too, with the, all the dining stuff and the, the cloth. That's sad. So what happens when you die? It's like what happened when my grandma died. She just she died, and then her house house didn't look her house looked untouched, like it was being lived in. But she was dead, so we had to we had to clean out her house. What an experience when that when the house owner dies. Suddenly that house is like it's. Uh, it's just like a, a caption of a caption of it's like a, it's like a ghost house since you know nobody lives there anymore they just died and you know they might still have fresh food in the in the fridge and and all that but they're dead So people got to the living people got to decide what to do with that. Wow, the refuge, the refuge point is way over here. I didn't expect it to be so far. Looks like a safe spot. In the picture of the refugee point, still had, had a good overlook of the, the area. Public access. Landslid. 
Is that the only section? It was like the devastating part of it was the destruction of human creations. I wonder if any other mountain sites fell in. Yeah, you can see some some erosion off the, the distance. Wow, it's quite a lake. Pretty good distance from from West Yellowstone. tilted it was like some boats that were on the edge of the shore like were, t were like taken out of the water to scare them away. Uh, it doesn't say for how many miles with the bison. Whoa! My tire just scraped. I can't go the full 70 if I'm going to have these bumps.
And some of the leaves on these deciduous trees are changing a, a slight bit of color. city I forget the name of that town a bunch of cabins people actually people who actually stay here year round these guys wouldn't the RVs so I think a lot of them might plan it for the end of September or something like that then jump to Arizona these look like two empty houses. They built them and then they just, I don't know, it's hard to say. Red Canyon. Bison on road. an old set up. People live there. You see cows and horses. Somebody's pulled over. I wonder if there's a bison. A big RV is pulled over. Oh, because there's a sign. Welcome to Earthquake Lake. Bicyclers, bicyclers. Wow, that's a rare sight. Bicycle. 
whistle clear is coming on both sides. It's kind of crazy. It's hard to do and it's very annoying to, to be a bicycler. To do what they're doing is pretty annoying. You just don't enjoy it. How do you find joy in, in having cars whip by you all the time like that? Yes, West Yellowstone, Bozeman and Big Sky to the left. Yellowstone Park Trail Rides. Call. Uh, what is it? Seven. 406 646 7230. For Yellowstone trail rides. It's saying to the left is Yellowstone, but I'm not going into Yellowstone, no way. They don't have any libraries. Ashton, Idaho in 65. Log Builders. Duck Creek section. For safety, use headlights. Wow, a lot of people do that. A lot of people say that. I don't see how it's such a big advantage. I would need to transport all of my stuff. If, I, if this is back in the old days, if I got a wagon, how many horses would I need to, for them to comfortably um, take my stuff? So it seems pretty effortless with the car. base some kind of a temporary setup for fire traffic entering road there's a fire up here rainbow point campground incident base looks kind of empty I see some dust. Oh no, there's quite a, there's a, there's some people there. 
Yeah. It's not a big base, maybe five tenths. Maybe they stay a month after the fires die down. pretty view behind me. I can only record going one way. not rub though. That must have been very close, like like just hair length, hair width. Bison on road again. It says do not pass. Okay. whole campground Baker's Hole Maybe that's another way to call that that fire pit Must be here. They got a McDonald's. Have I arrived already? 
actually, oh man, I don't know. I need to see what city this is. What highway am I on? No camping. Oh, like right there? Did I take a right on 191? West Yellowstone. Oh my god, I am here. Okay. I just need the name of that street. Turn left on Dunraven. Really? It says it shows a right. Oh man, I'm slow. I'm 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 so confused. It's showing that I. Oh, I see. Turn right on Madison, left on Dunraven. Okay. Right Madison, left Dunraven. Right Madison, left Dunraven. There's Madison, okay. Yeah, this is this is quite a quite a shopping district. I think I could slip in between. <sighs> left left to Dun Raven. Supermarket not far. Left Don Raven. I would think that this is probably it, because you don't go far. And if it's not, I'm gonna park. Is it what? I'm just gonna. Alright. Alright, and I can park. Ah oh, there, okay. Library. I guess uh, take the this this end spot. <laughs> Looks like a pretty good area. 